Racing pigeons aren't the typical bird you'll find on the city streets. And these pedigree birds can sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars. In March 2019, Armando the racing pigeon sold to a bidder in China for over 1.4 million. So what is it that makes racing pigeons so expensive? Pigeons are some of the oldest domesticated birds. They've been kept for thousands of years and used for food, sending messages and entertainment. They're appreciated not only for their speed, but for their looks too. And there are over 800 breeds of pigeon, many bred specifically to be exhibited at shows. Messenger pigeons were used across ancient Egypt and Rome, and their high value isn't new. In his book, Natural History, the Roman author Pliny the Elder wrote that many persons have quite a mania for pigeons, building towns for them on top of their roofs, and taking pleasure in relating the pedigree and the noble origin of each. And in about 50 BC, a single pair of pigeons was sold for 400 denarii, almost twice the annual pay of a Roman foot soldier at the time. And right up until the invention of the telegraph in 1844, homing pigeons remained the fastest way to send messages across long distances. The birds could fly a thousand miles and reach 90 miles per hour over shorter distances. They even played a big part in the World Wars. Thousands of pigeons were used in the First World War alone, and submarines, minesweepers and tanks often carried pigeons on board to send urgent messages back to base. Their role in the war wasn't limited to delivering messages though. In 1907, Julius Neubrunner, a German pharmacist who used the birds to deliver medicine, invented a miniature pigeon camera. And this camera was used briefly in the war for aerial reconnaissance. These days, you won't see many pigeons delivering messages, but the birds are still used in races across the world. Our birds are like pedigree dogs and cats. Down, my father's got, we, we, we have the same family of birds for the last 40, 50 years, from you know generation to generation, grand, great grandchildren from the pigeons my father had 40, 50 years ago. Come on, Annie, get inside, Annie, come on. I got one in here I call Amory after my wife. When I was racing her, she used to follow me all over the roof. Come on, girl, get inside, come on. Get, come on, be a good girl, listen to me, get inside. It was a simple thing to have down the garden. It was a way of racing. They used to gamble on them. Whereas if you had horses, took up room, took, was a lot more involved. You only needed a very small garden, a tiny loft, and you could raise pigeons. Anything else, you couldn't do it. And I think that's why it became so popular. After the war, the sport became a pastime of the working class and affordable to many. But in recent years, it's transformed. Its rising popularity in China and the huge surge in wealth there has led people to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars in the birds. And the prize money for winning some of these races can be equally high. Chinese bidders have spent millions of dollars on pigeons over the last few years, often buying them in from Belgium. And Armando's value rose to 1.4 million only because of a bidding war between two wealthy Chinese buyers. Despite reaching this record price, the bird is likely to never race again and instead be used for breeding. While the number of British pigeon fanciers has fallen from 60,000 in 1990 to about 21,000 today, there are now 100,000 fanciers in Beijing. Taiwan alone has half a million fanciers and these numbers are rising. The sport is even rapidly growing in Iraq, where a pigeon recently sold for $93,000. This recent surge in value has caused problems. In 2018, two men tried to win the prize money at a pigeon race by smuggling their birds on a bullet train. And in Taiwan, five members of an organized criminal ring were arrested for kidnapping valuable racing pigeons and holding them at ransom. This new expensive world of pigeon racing across Asia has changed the reputation of the sport. And for those with the money to buy the prize winners, these birds are a status symbol. But for those who've been doing it for years, it's not about the money, but the dedication and love of the sport. And nobody can really tell what's going to breed a perfect pigeon. You could pay a fortune for a pigeon. I think there's one been sold in China 
The chances are it may never breed a decent pigeon. Who knows? Where you could buy two pigeons for £10 each, they hit on and they could breed you winner after winner. That's what makes it so fascinating. I mean, I had one bird, my, four, my Hall of Fame hen. She flew a thousand miles in three weeks. I put her in a 200, a 250, and a 500. The best race I ever won was the 500 mile race with my Hall of Fame hen. She come home a quarter after nine at night in the dark like a bat. I'm waiting and waiting and waiting, and all I heard was the whisper of the wind. Boom, she hit the coop. I jumped out of my shoes. Look, see her picking me? She's pecking me. What's the matter, girl? What? You love daddy, huh? Eh?